Hi Libra, welcome in and thank you so much for joining. Be sure to only take the messages that resonate. If they don't resonate, leave them for someone else and you can check your other signs or check back next time. Thank you all so much for hitting the like button. I really appreciate your support. There are timestamps available for you. They're in the comment section as well as the description box. So if you would like to skip ahead at any time, you can do so. We're going to start with important messages for you, Libra. What are the important messages for Libra? What are the important messages? You may feel the need to defend yourself in a situation. Some of you Libras might feel attacked. Oh, Six of Wands, the High Priestess. Your success is bothering people that are not speaking to you. Like, they're not telling you outright that you're bothering them, but I'm getting, like, some sort of, like, passive-aggressive energy from someone that is just mad because you're on top or, you know, you come across as successful or, or you know... The Six of Wands, like you're getting reward and recognition or attention. And there's someone who's not really speaking to you or someone who's being very passive aggressive to you in November. The High Priestess, you intuitively are picking up on that energy. Like you know why someone's being passive aggressive. You know they're just ha a hater. Yeah, they're mad because you have something they don't. But I'm getting like, you have common sense with the Queen of Swords. You have intellect. You have a clear vision as to what it is you want for yourself. I feel like you're also not afraid to cut people, people, places, or things out of your life. Or you give off the impression that you're not afraid to cut out people, places, or things. And this person is just really emotionally imbalanced. Like, I feel like they keep letting themselves down, actually. Okay, could be a Sagittarius or a Pisces or a fire sign. Anything else? Uh, success will be assured as long as you uh, have a, a good plan. Those of you that are um, putting plan behind action, those of you who are working really hard to uh, accomplish something here, you can, there's guaranteed success. But you have to make sure you are putting a, a good intention behind it. You make sure you're you're having plans before you take action. There's somebody far away from you, Libra, that is feeling tied down and frustrated that there there's distance between you two. They're frustrated over the distance. They're frustrated because they feel tied down. Wow. Okay, this came out first, so. I have to say, Libra, you got someone around you that is very hateful, and I feel like this person may try to they're really not someone to listen to or take advice from. It's almost like someone wants to coerce you into doing something that is negative or, or being negative. You know, this could come in many shapes and forms, guys. But your guides are saying with the wind chimes to pick peace and harmony. So if there's any negativity that someone's trying to bring towards your life, I feel like you should, you should try to create a wall or create a boundary there with that person. A respectful boundary in some shape or form. But there's an increase in your material wealth and I'm also getting spiritual growth here, okay, with the with the golden egg and the goldfish. But this is for those of you that are actively this is not something that just falls into your lap. It's for those of you that are actively pursuing something. <laughs> Hi Jasper. Really? Well, Jasper wanted to say hi. He is a Pisces, if you're wondering. <laughs> okay, is there anything else for Libra? I'm feeling called to use these. Is there anything else for Libra? Okay, wow. 
the love coming in. Wow. Ooh, okay. There's um, somebody that's wanting to invest in a connection with you, Libra. This is someone that's interested in emotional growth and unity. To be an earth sign or a water sign, or they have those placements. Yeah, I see a very generous lover. This is someone that's going to nurture the connection, really be giving of self. Like, you're going to know who they are because they're going to prove themselves to you. This is someone that's going to, it's mutual energy. It's kind of like the energy of, like, you scratch my back, I scratch your back. But it's also an energy of not keeping score, too. Okay, I feel like you and this person are partnering up. This could be someone that you're already in a relationship with, by the way. There's definitely a lot of emotional growth happening between the both of you. And an understanding of how to grow together. Investing in, in each of yourselves individually, but also investing, realizing that we invest in ourselves individually so we can be more giving of self to a connection. I feel like you guys, there's a lot of emotional abundance and emotional growth between you and this other person. Could be a cancer. Doesn't have to be though, okay? There's just a lot of development happening between you and a, a partner. Equal give and take. It's beautiful. Some of you guys are trying to decide whether to leave a situation. You don't want to regret leaving a situation or what is this? A job. Some of you guys are trying to decide whether to stay or go in a job situation. Okay. Some of you guys feel like you're really bored or unfulfilled at a job. It could be leading to depression or just, uh, it's just kind of negative, but then there's a sense of nostalgia that kicks in where it's like you've been somewhere for so long, you would hate to let it go. So you're, you're really trying to make a decision. Spirit says go towards the new, if that's what you want, the new experience. There's pros there's more, pro you can do whatever you want, honestly. There's no wrong decisions, Libra. However, the new direction, those of you that just stepped into a new job, just know you did the right thing. You're going to come across hiccups and you're going to come across problems and you're going to come across boredom and all that stuff. But your guys want you to know that you made the right choice by stepping into the new. This is where the growth happens when we have new experiences. Okay. But I'm definitely seeing a promotion, a new job, or just uh, more money coming towards you in the future, more stability. I also see you guys could be manifesting this. You could be manifesting your own business. They're telling me something about a side hustle too. Some of you guys are going to have a decision in the future. Could be the long-term future, but I see a decision whether or not you're going to stay at a job because you have put so much effort and work into a, your own business. Your own business is going to grow. It's going to be very prosperous. And so some of you guys might be deciding whether or not you're going to leave. I just see less stress. Less overall stress, okay? Overcoming self-doubt. That could be a challenge for you at this time, but I'm definitely seeing you overcome self-doubt. But I'm seeing you need, you need more rest and quiet time. We're going to do a message for the singles. Forgive me. I do have to pause in between each reading just to center myself. I want to make sure I give you the clearest message possible. So there's timestamps if you want to skip ahead. Libra, single Libras, your guides want you to surrender to divine timing. It says, sometimes divine timing may differ from your ego's timing. If a goal isn't manifesting fast enough, according to your ego, be patient and trust the universal flow. Surrender or comparing yourself to other people. 
It says, keep your eyes trained on yourself. Focus on your own strengths, your own attractiveness, and your own power. So some of you single Libras, what I'm getting from this is you might feel like you lack in certain areas of your life or whether this is your appearance or maybe you feel like you don't have much to offer. Your guides are wanting you to stop comparing yourself to other people. You are uniquely you and that's what makes you special and you're going to be attracting the right person to you because of who you are. Who's coming towards Libra? My single Libras. Who's coming towards my single Libras? earth sign or an air sign there's somebody that is interested in you at, at the workplace or this is a dating app could be something online as well yeah i'm definitely seeing you get approached here somebody wants to date you there's fast commu communication comes in from out of nowhere or a match comes in from out of nowhere i see a relationship coming in for sure for some of you guys it's going to happen while you're either at work or while you're busy doing something you're going to get some type of notification from somebody here that's really interested in you. Others of you, there is somebody at the workplace that really digs you. I'm getting a strong energy of somebody wanting a relationship from you, wanting to know what it would be like to date you. But nonetheless, the Hierophant, there is a commitment that is going to be offered. And it comes, it feels like with the Knight of Swords, it comes out of nowhere. Somebody's going to start showing you interest out of nowhere. Like it's almost, it's almost like the universe just kind of like toss this person into your lap. A lot of you Libras have been working on yourself. I will say that you really have, but I feel like the universe is acknowledging all of your spiritual growth here. And so it's kind of like the, the image they're giving me is they're just about to throw someone in your lap and see, <laughs> I mean, let's see could be another Libra. Yeah. Wow. High romantic. And this is someone who wants to spoil you with the Empress card. They want to spoil you with love, affection, their time, a lot of communication coming from this person. You're not going to be questioning whether or not someone's interested in you because they're just going to show you. Some of you guys will have to disconnect yourself emotionally from somebody else in the past. Some of you may be holding on to a person that walked away from you, Libra. And your guides are, you know, you could be in a position of like, should I hold on to this connection? Should, should I wait to see if this person comes back? Should I wait to see any new developments? Your guides are saying disconnect from it because you've got something bigger and better coming in. I do feel like those of you that are concerned with a past person, or if you're concerned with someone that you're having a lot of issues with, there is some type of introspection this person is like, they're walking into a period of introspection, but I feel like this is somebody that has a hard time deciding whether or not they want to commit, or they could have a hard time deciding whether or not they're going to leave another person. Your guides are asking you to walk away from that situation. And let this person figure themselves out. It could be a Gemini. But I do see a romantic partner coming towards you, Libra. Wanting to, support, you're not going to be questioning what, and this is someone that you won't have to compare yourself to someone else. Some of you guys may be dealing with people that make you feel like you have to compete for their attention or beg for their attention, or they make you feel like you have to compare yourself to someone else. There's someone coming towards you, Libra, that is going to be so romantically attracted and interested in you. There's going to be no one else. There's not going to be a someone else, and you're not going to have to compare yourself to someone else. So your guides are saying surrender comparison with other people. And what I'm getting is surrender those situations where you actually feel like you have to compare yourself to someone else. And if you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. All right, so if you are interested in a past person or if you're currently having issues with someone, this is the reading that will be for you. 
If not, you can skip ahead to the cross watchers section, or this is where we part ways. I do appreciate y'all hitting the like button as it does help support the channel. All the engagements throw the videos out into the algorithm. Okay, let's see. What happened in the past with Libra and this person? What happened in the past with Libra and this person? Somebody was non-committal, okay, or they left you. Nine of Pentacles, uh, six of Pentacles. You felt like you had to beg for this person's attention, but I'm going to go ahead and say someone was stringing you along. Stringing you right along. Someone didn't, like, I'm getting, Libra, this person enjoyed your company. They enjoyed your attention. And they enjoyed the way you stroke their ego. They really did feed off of your energy. Like, they felt like they were getting something from you, for sure. However, I feel like you discovered that this person was just kind of stringing you along. There was no real growth happening. Somebody could have been financially stingy as well, to be specific. Someone could have been very stingy with finances. I'm giving you crumbs. Kind of felt like you were alone in the situation for some of you guys with the nine of pentacles, the six of pentacles. You're like, what's the point of being in this relationship? Might as well be single. Like, that's what I'm getting. How does Libra see this person? Ace of pentacles. You think they're doing well? You think they've moved on? Some of you guys might be comparing yourself to someone else that this person is with or maybe talking to or just a hypothetical situation. But you think this person is doing very well and they're moving on to bigger and better things. Let's see what they're really doing. Let's see what's really going on. So how Libra sees and feels about the situation, is it accurate? What's really going on with this person? What is really going on with this person, Spirit? What is really going on with this person? Ten. They're stressed out. Life is not as easy for them as they like to make other people think it is. I feel like this person is really struggling right now. What are they struggling with? Balance, moderation. They're not, they're not stable. I feel this person's actually struggling with healing from you. You wouldn't see it that way though, because you think they're moving on. They're collaborating with other people. They've moved forward. Queen of Wands, you see this person as having all the confidence in the world and they're just pushing on. But the reality of the situation is they really struggle. They really struggle to find balance in their life, Libra. They're really struggling with healing. How do they see Libra? That you're not moving forward with them or you're not communicating with them. You could have cut off communication or you're just not communicating in the present moment. They just see you not talking. How do they see, I'm sorry, how do they feel, Spirit? How do they feel about Libra, please? How do they feel? They are in love with you. Ace of Cups for how they feel about you. This person will always love you, Libra. You will always hold a special place in their heart. I'm not just saying that. And I feel like they do struggle to heal from you. They do struggle to find balance in their life. They are struggling emotionally and mentally. They have one foot in the door with you still. And that there it's hard for them to move on, right? I feel like you did with the temperance card. I feel like you were an angelic presence in their life. You were something uh, that really helped keep them balanced in some way. You were really someone that provided them with extra care. And they don't have that without you. Can we clarify this? They want to clear the air. 
seven of cups and this person's not confused with how they feel they they do have feelings for you they do feel connected they're they're very clear when it comes to the way they feel about you they know how they feel they're not confused but their actions don't line up with their emotions this could be somebody that is afraid of financial instability. They could have become codependent to another situation. Don't take that if it doesn't resonate, but intuitively I am picking that up. For some of you Libras, this person has financially become dependent on another situation. And so they're not confused with how they feel about you. And they're not confused with the fact that they would like to get back together or reunite with you. However, materially or you know that's just not something they can do right now for some of you now if that doesn't resonate with you i do see this person having feelings for you and wanting to clear the air with you and wanting to get back together with you the four of wands that's someone who wants a re reconciliation or this is someone who does not want the situation to end but they feel like you're giving them the silent treatment you're not speaking to them what do they want from libra Eight of Pentacles in reverse, Queen of Pentacles. They want you to give to the situation. They want you to make it effortless for them. I don't like that. Because you did in the past and you've set a boundary. So now that you've set a boundary with this person and you're not making things easy for them anymore, they don't really have someone that makes things super easy like you did. And so they do want that back. But it's telling me that they don't want to put any work towards the situation. It's like somebody wants to uh, pull you in to work things out. They want to work things out with you, but they want you to do all the work to help this reconciliation. It's, it's almost an energy of wanting you to beg, to be honest. What's their next actions towards Libra? They're hesitant. I don't see them coming forward anytime soon this person if you do speak with them they're very insensitive and they don't mean what they say it's a front this person likes to come across as someone who is ruthless and rude and unpredictable they they actually they like being seen that way but the reality of it is if you were to look deeper into them they're actually kind of scared this is a defense mechanism of theirs. So I feel like if you get any communication at all from someone, it's going to seem very insensitive and uncaring. But that's not what they're not showing what they really feel. However, I don't see much action from this person in November, much change that is from whatever situation you're already going through with this person. They want to come forward. They want to be more emotionally involved. They're just, they have a wall up with the nine of wands. They're scared to be vulnerable. They're sc I feel this person doesn't even want to apologize. If they need to apologize for anything, they're just, they're too stuck in their ways to admit out loud that they did something wrong. What is their hidden truth? Y'all, my cats are acting a fool. What's their hidden truth towards Libra? I have too much to lose. So again, that goes back to this person that has created a foundation. Luna, what is going on with y'all? Give me this. Luna's trying to take my ring. That goes back to this person being financially dependent or just dependent on someone else for some of you. The timing just wasn't right for us and they admire you. So this is, it says, sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. They think a lot about you, Libra. They do admire you and there's definitely something about you that is beyond different from anyone else that they have been dealing with. The timing just wasn't right for us. They're thinking that you two could come back together eventually. Like one day, 
just not now is because they have too much to lose. They have a lot to figure out. Could be dealing with um, an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Could be a Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. Some of y'all, it could be any sign, guys. I have water and earth for who they are. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. All right, so we're going to do a cross watchers. This is if you're dealing with this sign. Aries through Pisces, please, for Libra. If you are dealing with an Aries, the Aries wants commitment. They want to be with you for the long haul. They're in it for the long haul. If you are dealing with a Taurus, the Taurus still holds on to hope of you guys communicating again or getting back together. If you're dealing with a Gemini, the Gemini misses you. The Gemini reminisces a lot. Six of Cups. It's a nostalgia card. They think a lot about memories from the past. They really miss you. Miss when things were good. If you're dealing with a Cancer, they want a new beginning. If you're dealing with a Leo, um, this Leo is has hoe tendencies, okay? The Leo has a tendency to hop in and out of your life. They're non-committal. If they, they are interested, though. There's no doubt there. This Leo is very interested in you, Virgo. I'm not Virgo, Libra. <laughs> Sorry. If you're dealing with a Virgo, the Virgo wants to come back, but their ego, they have a very large ego. So you've had an ending with a Virgo with the death card, but then this particular deck, it talks about a rebirth. I feel like the, the Virgo wants to resurrect a situation with you, but they're very stubborn, very cold, and I just feel like this, this Virgo might also have controlling issues with the Emperor wanting to come out. The Emperor could be an Aries involved in the situation for some of you. But there's some type of major blockage between the both of you. But the Virgo does want to resurrect a situation. If you're dealing with another Libra, the Libra is slowly coming towards you. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, the Scorpio wants to speak with you. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, they have romantic feelings for you. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, the Capricorn's juggling. They're a juggler. They like to have their cake and eat it too. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, the Aquarius wants to tell you the truth. They want to tell you the truth. I feel like an Aquarius lied to you. Now they want to tell you the truth. If you're dealing with a Pisces, they're very interested in you. Very sexually attracted to you. I see a Pisces taking action. All right, Libra, those are your messages. I hope you guys got some clarity out of these messages. If you did, thank you so much for hitting the like button. Thank y'all so much for being here. And I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Until next time, bye. Cash, what are you doing? Are you saying hi? to Libra. <laughs> Bye Libra.